Right, today I'm going to show you how to clean the nozzle on your Zortrax M200. These are the tools you're going to need. Um, most of them are available in your toolkit that you get with the printer. Let's have a look at the nozzle that we're going to be cleaning. Looking pretty grubby there. Um, the extra things that you will need are a glass and some acetone. And then the first thing to do is to heat up the extruder and get any filament that is in there nice and hot. Then you want to take the tool, this tool here that you get in, in with your printer and gently just untighten the nozzle. You want to be quite careful here not to damage it. Let's just speed up that footage for you. And there you go. Make sure to wear gloves and we use the pair of pliers here just to take it off at the end uh, as it will be very, very hot. At this point, just put it to one side and let it cool down and remove any little uh, blobs of filament that are hanging out like so. And you can turn the printer off now. The next stage is to prepare your acetone and put the nozzle into it. Uh, it's important to use a glass for this and not a plastic cup as the acetone will eat away at it. Uh, as you can see our nozzle's in there and we're going to leave this overnight uh, just to let it um, really sort of clean the worst off. So we'll leave that overnight. Uh, we put a, a rubber glove over the top just to stop it evaporating as well. Um, but as you can see, it started already to um, eat away at any of that ABS that's stuck on the nozzle and soften it up. So if we take it out now, again using some pliers, and just clean it up with some kitchen roll actually we used. Um, put it in again, give another little rinse off and keep repeating this really until you, until you get it as clean as you, you want it to be. But after a good day soak in acetone it should come up pretty well and there's our one looking quite a bit better now and that should perform quite nicely. So uh, the next stage is to put it back on to the print head and you can keep the printer cold um, for this so you can just put it in um, thumb, to a sort of thumb tightness and then use the little wrench again. Uh, be careful not to tighten it too much, just go until you to feel a slight bit of resistance there and leave it, you don't want to damage that thread and make it hard to take off in the future. And there you go, it's all clean and we'll do a little print now just to show you that it's uh, extruding nicely. All looking pretty good there, so um, we're ready to go. Depending on what materials you use really, you might find that you need to do this more often um, the knot and uh, sometimes you won't really need to do it at all for ages but um, yeah that should help you out. Thanks for watching if you like the video then please click to subscribe. For more information on the printers and materials we've used in this video visit dream3d.co.uk